two, three, four. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is our like three monthly vet visit. So we're gonna obviously let you guys know how we get on because obviously you guys wanna know if they're all right. So we're just going for the normal way, worm, flea treatment. We're gonna get Pablo checked for arthritis, just make sure all his joints are kind of moving okay. And then we're also gonna get the nails cut. Now we rarely ever get the nails cut because we do a lot of path walk around here. There's a lot of paths. And even if there's grass next to the path, they like to walk on the path. Don't ask me why, they just like walking on the path rather than on the grass. So the nails are always quite nicely the same length because they never get longer because obviously they're walking on the path and it grates them off, which is disgusting to think about, but that's how it works. They are a little long, so when they put the paws on the ground, they're kind of like, you can see the toes are twisting because the nails are too long, so it's a bit... It's, uh, so we'll go, come back, and I'll update you guys on everything. Keys. Hmm. There's a loop. Go on then, boys. Let's go. Good lads. Oh. You ready, boys? Let's go. Come on. A few hours later. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. Go on in. Got your tablets. You can have them later. I'll give you them with some proper food. So guys, as you'll have probably seen by the title and thumbnail of the video, that didn't go too well. So, basically, Stan doesn't like his nails getting cut. So I don't know if you can see how well it's picking it up. But basically Stanley attacked me. Stanley attacked me. If you can see, Stanley's nails are pure black. Just pure black. So it's hard to see where like the cuticles are on them, which is why I've never tried to cut them myself. Um, she slightly nicked one of them and Obviously didn't want the rest being done. I was trying to hold on to him and he just was clawing me. I was just holding on to him as like tight as I could. And he's so strong, he's so strong. Obviously my neck caught a lot of the brunt. I've got a lot on my chest as well because obviously he was like here and he'd like turn around then scratch down. I just slightly caught my neck, but it's actually, this is covered. I'd show you, but you guys aren't that lucky. Not today. And then I'm also going to have to now go back and get Pablo's medicine because they didn't have any left because they sold out for the day. So I'm going to have to go back tomorrow to get some and it's another... I don't have fuel in my... Uh, it doesn't matter. It is what it is. Um, so general update then, both of them are overweight. Shock. I think Pablo's just because he's had his breakfast and then he hasn't had a poo today so maybe he's just a little bit over. Point two kilograms over kind of where he should be, which is probably just a big poo. And then Stanley was about 0.5 overweight. Now he is getting a bit just bigger in general. So his weight will be going up. And he has been on a diet this past week because he was a lot overweight for two reasons. Um, I went out one day and he decided that he was gonna get onto my desk and eat a full packet of biscuits. And then he followed that up because I went out last week and I got mum to come around to let them out. And she gave them dinner, but forgot to tell me that she gave him dinner. So when I came in, he was like, I'm very hungry. So I then also gave him dinner. So he had a full packet of biscuits and an extra dinner in the space of like two to three days. So he was very fat. He put on a lot of belly. He's been on lots of walks. He's had his food cut down. He's, you know, he's on the way down, but obviously I had to book him into the vets. So call him at a bad time, but that's fine. I always expect this. They're a little overweight. And then kind of put them on a diet then they go back three months time and they're fine and then three months time they're not fine and then i do the same it just kind of they just keep bouncing it's hard to keep the weight exact because there's so many different factors of walks and yeah anyways and they're not concerned about arthritis in pablo obviously they sent me like a 
a list of like things to look out for that like could be a possible sign of arthritis. Cause he's been like that a while, I'm just like, that's how he is. But then also in my head I thought, well maybe he's had it for like a long time and that's why he's kind of lethargic, but he's not. And that's it for another three months. So I'm gonna go put some savlon on this and make sure I don't get infected. And on this, it's very tender, very ten very tender sorry for so much talking and you seeing so much of me i'll try and figure out a way of doing these videos to give you guys an update without me having to just talk at you guys oh i get thinking a lot's been going on recently um give you guys a life update or whatever but you're sick of me talking already so i will end the video here we'll give them the food and you can watch them because i'm going to give them the mushy food which they always make an absolute mess of so We'll see that. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Hope all your pugs are happy and healthy. Like, comment, subscribe as always. Peace out. I'll just, just do a like, do that now. Because I need like a tap noise. And... I don't know. Wait. Wait. Because oh, you need this one. You've got your puppets in it.